Uh, I love it when your favorite TV show gets made into a movie and actually gets into made into a movie right. It's rare, it's far in between, but when they do it, it's awesome. Let's talk about it. Sex in the City is based off the TV show of the same name, of course, and we now find our characters a lot older than what they were when they started out on the TV series, and we now see Carrie Bradshaw and her boyfriend planning on getting married. Of course, well, when her boyfriend knows a couple of things about said wedding, he kind of has ups and downs about the whole thing since he thinks that it's not really about the two, that she's really planning the wedding to get everybody else involved. And he mainly just wants the the coordination between just those two, him and her, you know what I mean? It's like that. So he kind of does something that kind of puts the relationship in a ripple effect. Elsewhere, we now see Miranda and her husband um, also on a rocky side of their relationship. They haven't had sex in like six months. Ugh. And when she tells her friends that, they're like, damn, six months? Ugh. Yeah. So their relationship is also facing certain crisis, especially when something is revealed in that relationship. And Samantha, well, she's Samantha. <laughs> still horny, still hot and heavy over guys and stuff like that. So, all is well. <laughs> With that side, I love this movie. I do. Sex and the City was is one of my favorite HBO shows ever, basically because I grew up watching the show. So, in a sense, I kind of grew up watching the characters over the years. And when they finally made the movie, I'm like, well, it took you long enough. You know what I mean? And since it's Valentine's Day, I decided, well, now's a good time to start talking about these movies. So, yeah, I'll be reviewing both movies, even though I have not seen the second one yet prior to this review. So, I don't know if that one's good or not, but I have seen this one before, and I actually loved it. And it has not changed in over several years since I've seen it the first time. Yeah, this is a, it's a lot more raunchy than the TV show, I'll tell you that much. Not to mention, because I'm watching, I'm watching the extended cut. I'm not sure how long the original cut is, but the extended cut is 2 hours and 30 minutes. Not too long, because <laughs> it, it kind of feels like you're watching two shows in one, tack on 30 extra minutes, but yeah. <laughs> At least I think Sex and the City was an hour when it was on HBO, and then Channel 5 bought it, and I think it was 30 minutes, I think. But, anyways, it's not a long running time at all. It actually goes by very quick, especially if you love the movie and are into the shows. That running time, it goes by real fast. So you don't have to worry about anything. The acting in the movie is superior. Of course, it's the same cast, same characters, and you got Murphy Brown in here. And if anybody who was watching TV in the 90s knows who Murphy Brown is you know your homework so congratulations uh, my younger viewers are probably like who the hell is Murphy Brown look that shit up it was actually a pretty good show but uh, yeah so she's in there and Jennifer Hudson's in it so that's not too terrible and yeah it's not like an in your face rom-com it's like a romantic drama comedy-ish movie. So there's a lot of talking throughout the whole movie, actually. But, yeah, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. I only like it because I watched the show. I actually gave the show a chance when I was 13. So, yeah. My mother never knew I watched it because I kind of had to keep that hidden for a while because it was HBO 
and let's face it, HBO is not PG, <laughs> and neither is this movie, which is why I love it so much. It's probably more raunchy than the TV show. If that says enough, really. <laughs> and I'm glad they went that route. I'm glad they didn't go a PG-13 route. I'm glad they went the R-rated route and unrated route. Keep what the show was about in the movie. And that's what they actually does here, and that's why I enjoy it so much. Overall, though, if you enjoy Sex in the City, the TV show, you're going to love this movie. Especially if you're a woman, okay? I know this is weird coming from a guy's point of view, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get Sex in the City an A. Let me know what you guys think about this movie down below, or girls. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? And I'll catch you guys in the second one.